In this lesson, we're going to take a look at models, laws, and theories. Now, what do all those mean? These are the tools, the words that we use in science when we're trying to understand the world around us. And we have uh, laws that tell us about relationships and theories that explain why things occur, and models that help us study things. So let's take a look at these in a little bit more detail. This is a progression of atomic models. Now, models help us understand things that are not readily understood. Uh, so trying to understand how atoms are put together and what matter is made out of, that's taken a lot of progression over the years. Starting all the way back with Dalton's model of the atom, which was a solid billiard ball model, uh, through Thomson and Rutherford and Bohr, to Schrodinger's model of the atom, where we have electron clouds. Now, each one of these served its purpose, but none of them actually show exactly how an atom behaves. They help us understand it by giving us something concrete to study and compare to. So we use models to help us understand complex phenomena and we're going to model some interactions in this class using carts and tracks and things like that that will be applicable to the real world but generally we oversimplify things and we can control variables but we can use these models to help us understand reality theories explain and predict theories are not known facts about the universe. Instead, we've tested lots of things, made hundreds of observations, and a theory uh, does a very good job of explaining why things occur and predicting other things that could occur. Uh, and my example here is kinetic theory, which says that all matter is made up of tiny little particles that are in constant random motion. Heating those particles up causes them to move more. They could overcome forces of attraction between them and expand into liquids and gases. Um, so that, that theory explains why we can boil water and why when it gets cold outside the water freezes but it also is applicable to gases and substances other than water now theories can change and are never proven and they're really not really static as we do more research and make more observations uh, our theories become better at explaining things or adapt to fit the new the new data and then finally we have laws and a law is not an explanation of anything. It just says this is the way things are. Every observation we've made has followed this relationship, and so we're going to say that this is a law. Uh, energy is conserved is a law. E equals mc squared is a law. We're going to learn about Newton's laws of motion. Those, sim those relate things like mass acceleration and force. They don't tell us why that relationship exists, but they tell us what the relationship is. Lots of laws are stated as mathematical formulas, and we will use those throughout physics.